what's up guys today we're going to be going over kernel modules and the first thing i'm going to go over is what is a kernel okay and it's not a piece of corn if that's what you're thinking pretty much what a kernel is is it uh, communicates in between your hardware and your applications that you're trying to run on your linux box so your cpu your memory and your other devices that you have hooked up to your actual pc uh, it communicates uh, to your applications that way uh, your applications can actually utilize your RAM your uh, cores in your CPU and whatever else uh, you're doing uh, with your computer now for the modules your modules are pretty much the same as what Windows drivers are for Windows so if you have a device that is not already baked into the Linux kernel, you can add or remove modules depending on what you need and what your use case is. Say for instance, Bluetooth devices. Uh, with Windows, you need drivers to actually install onto your system. That way you can actually utilize that device. With Linux, you do this with modules. So it's pretty much like a puzzle piece built out of the kernel. So if you need to add something to utilize certain functionality out of a device, you can do that. If you need to uh, uh, remove it because it's malfunctioning or something, you can remove them as well. So, and I'm gonna show you how to do that inside of the terminal today. Now, like I said before, a kernel module is to Linux what a device driver is to Windows. So. Uh, that's something uh, important to keep in mind and kernel modules are modular. They are not baked into the kernel They can be added or removed at any time and you can also edit kernel modules I'm not going to get into that in this video, but if you want me to uh, Do some research into that and actually build our own module uh, we can uh, possibly do that and where the modules are stored at are in the lib modules and your kernel version. And I'll actually show you what command you need to use to actually look up your kernel version. And they, they're just going to be inside of this directory and I'm going to show you how to look that up. Now mod info, this is actually the command that you're going to use to find where your module uh, that you're getting this information on is located on your system and you're just going to be putting mod info and whatever module that you're trying to get more information on and it's going to give you a large list of information pertaining to that individual module now ls mod just like ls inside of linux you're going to list the loaded modules inside of your kernel and that's pretty much all there is to say about that. Insmod is going to be installing modules. It's going to install, uh, if you have a module, you need to actually have the location of the module to install modules using Insmod, and that's the same with, with um, RM mod. And it's not going to remove anything or install anything besides the module that you're uh, talking about. Well, with Mod Probe, that's where that changes up a little bit, where it's going to remove modules and dependencies or install them. So that's a little nice, and uh, to be honest, Mod Probe is probably what you're going to be using more often uh, over Insmod and RM Mod because if you have a module with a lot of dependencies, you don't need to look through and find out what is what the individual module is dependent on. It will take care of it for you. So now for flags. Uh, we got two flags here for mod probe. The dash R flag is going to be for remove and the dash V uh, flag is going to be for verbose. So if you just put mod probe and then the module that you're trying to install, then it's going to uh, automatically install the module. If you have the dash R flag, it's going to remove that module. And verbose is just going to give you information about what you're doing. Well, let's hop over into the terminal and check out some of these commands. All right, now that we're inside of the terminal, let's go over some of these commands. The first one's gonna be lsmod, and it's just gonna list out some modules here, and we're going to remove one and then add it back. And I'm gonna actually find one here with a dependency. So you can see USB storage is being utilized by UAS. So UAS is dependent on USB storage. Right here is actually a list. These numbers right here are of the dependencies that are dependent on this module. So for USB storage, we can actually do a RM and uh, RM mod and USB underscore storage. And you can actually see that we're not able to do that. The main, the, the reason is, is because that UAS is dependent on USB storage. So RM mod is not going to allow us to remove it. 
So the first thing we have to do if you want to do this with the RM mod is we have to remove UAS. So let's do a RM mod and UAS. And now we can do a LS mod and pipe that into head. And you can see that we do not have the UAS mod uh, module anymore. So now we're going to be able to remove the USB storage module. So we can do a RM mod and USB underscore storage. And now we got that cleared up. So we can just uh, LS mod and we could check that out. And you can see that we actually did remove the USB storage module. Now to add modules, we're going to have to actually find the directory where these modules are located. So like I said before, it's going to be inside of lib modules. So in the easiest way that you're actually going to be able to find this is just mod info. And this is a quick and easy command to actually get information on different modules. So let's do the USB storage because we're going to have to do this one first because we can't do UAS without actually having the USB storage module first. Okay, now this is going to give us a bunch of information here, but what we're actually looking for is just the directory where this is located. So let me scroll up here. They've got a ton of crap here. All right. Copy the actual file location. And let me just clear the screen out. Now we can do a insmod and the location of where this uh, module is. And now we actually have that as installed. So I can do a lsmod and pipe that into head. And you can see that we have a USB storage, the module back in place. Now we can actually install the UAS module. And we can just do the same exact thing. We can do a mod info and UAS. It'll give us all that information again. We can grab that directory. I can clear the screen again. And now we can install it using insmod. Insmod in that directory where UAS is. And if I do a ls mod and pipe that into head again you can see that we have UAS and USB storage back in place so we just removed the module added a module and the next command that we're going to be going over is mod probe the nice thing with mod probe is that you don't have to worry about dependencies if I want to remove USB storage I can just do that and it will automatically remove UAS with it so I could just type a mod probe and the dash R for remove, and we could put a V inside of there for uh, verbose. Let's just do UAS, and you can actually remove both modules. We so the RM mod for UAS and USB storage. So if I do a LS mod and pipe that into head again, we could see that the USB UAS and USB storage were both removed at the same time. So that's nice. And we can do the same thing for adding uh, the modules back. So I can just do a mod probe dash V for uh, verbose and do the UAS. And it will add them back. You don't have to uh, put any of the directory locations of those modules or anything else like that. And if I do a LS mod and pipe that into head, you can see that they're both back in place. So pretty dang easy. And if you want to find out what your kernel version is, all you have to do is type uname-a and it will list out the kernel version that we're actually running. And you can see it's the 5.19 and uh, the rest of that with Raspi. And we can actually go inside that libmodules directory. So we can actually just check that out. Okay, and you can see that we actually have two different kernel versions inside of here. So. Uh, going off of what we looked up with uname, we can actually see that we're on 5.19.0.1013. So it's actually going to be the one to the right right over here. And if we're going to find the modules that we're going to be installing, they're just going to be inside of that directory. And we could just cd into kernel. And then we could cd into drivers. And then after that, we can just go into USB and CD into storage. 
and you can see that we have the UAS right here and the USB storage right here. So this is actually the modules that we were installing and removing. Well, hopefully this was helpful for you guys to actually learn more about modules. If you guys want any more information on modules, uh, uh, let me know what you guys actually want to see inside of the description. And if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Peace. <music>